Okay, children, today we will discuss fertilization in angiosperms. Fertilization in angiosperms. Children, what you see here, yesterday we discussed the structure of flower. I know this is pedicel, this is thalamus, these are sepals, these are petals, okay, these are stamens, and this is carpet. I know yesterday. Okay, children, now stamens produce polygrain. And this pollen grains will go and fall on stipa. The stamen, uh, pollen grains will go and fall on the stipa. This transfer of pollen from anther to stigma is called as what children? Pollination. Pollination. What is pollination? It's <coughs> transfer of pollen from anthers to stigma. Transfer of pollen. Okay, children. From anther to stigma. From anther. To stigma is called as pollination. Okay, there are two types of pollination. One is self pollination, and the other is cross pollination. Self pollination occurs in same flower. It goes and falls in the same flower as it is like this. It will go and fall. If it falls in other flower, then it is called cross pollination. Other flower of same variety. Other flower of same variety. Then it is called cross pollination. Can anyone say which is better, self pollination or cross pollination, children? Which is good? Cross pollination. The cross pollination, sir, will have more variation. Yeah, very good. Cross pollination is better because in cross pollination you will have more variations. In self pollination, it is like asexual reproduction because at the same time it is occurring. Of course, it is good. It is sexual reproduction only. But in cross pollination, you will get more variations, more characters you will get. It may be good or bad. That is different. But more variations you will get in cross pollination. Okay, and for pollination, you require agents, children. Simply, they won't, they don't have legs to go run and sit on them. They have, you need agents for pollination, children. Okay, some of the famous agents are air. Because of the air, this pollen will fly in the air and they may come and fall. And insects, sometimes insects will be attracted because of this petal, they go and sit. And when they go and sit on the stigma, with the pollen grain, which is sticking to the legs, will go and fall on the children. It, or sometimes it may be water, or sometimes it may be because of uh, uh, birds, or sometimes it may be because of animals. So many different different types of uh, uh, pollinations are there. Children. Okay, and just I'm saying it's not very serious. Uh, if uh, pollination occurs by air, it is called anemophily. It's not there, children. Just I'm saying. Okay, if the pollination occurs by insects, it is called entomophily. Entomophily. Okay. If pollination occurs by water, it is called hydrophily. And if pollination occurs by animals, it is called zoophily. Okay. And so many other. This is orbitophily. So many other. It's not there in the syllabus, but agents are important. Agents. Because of this agents, this pollen grain will go and fall on the stigma. The transfer of pollen from anther to stigma is called pollination. Agents can be anything, children. Agents can be anything. Okay, agents can be anything. The pollination occurs, pollination occurs because of movement of pollen from anther to stigma. Okay, children. So pollination is of two types: self and cross pollination. Self and cross pollination. And the agents required for the pollination may be air, insects, water, birds, animals, what not children. So even sometimes uh, snakes they also will act as the uh, agents for pollination. That is called ophiophilia. You know. Uh, bats also act as a poll pollinating agent. They are called kinopterophily. There are so many different. Even elephants also will act as a pollinating agent. Children. Everything can act as an agent for pollination. Children. That is different issue. Agents are required for transfer of pollen from anther to stigma. That is what I wanted to say. So there are two types: self and cross. Here in cross pollination, you get more variations. Children. In cross pollination, you get more variations. Because it is you're getting more variations, more better chances of survival will be there in cross pollination than in self pollination. Children. So this is called fertilization. Uh, sorry, pollination. Children. So pollination. What is pollination? Children, transfer of pollen from anther to stigma. Now coming, we have to discuss what is fertilization. What is fertilization? So children, coming to fertilization. What is fertilization? Means fusion of male and female gametes. Is called fertilization. Fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Okay, children. Fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Okay, in human beings it is different, children. In human beings, sperm and ova fuses. That is different. 
I'm talking about the plants. In plants, children, in plants, we will discuss about that. In pollen grain, pollen grain two main gametes are there. Children, in pollen grain two main gametes are there. One main gamete fuses with the central nucleus, and then main gamete fuses with the egg to form. This will form endosperm. This will form zygote. I will discuss all those things when I am discussing fertilization in depth. Today, only I am discussing about pollination, fertilization, and difference between pollination, fertilization. Okay, so what is fertilization? If anyone asks, you should say the fusion of male and female gametes. The fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Okay, so fertilization is also two types, children. Internal fertilization is there and external fertilization. Internal fertilization means it occurs inside the body. External fertilization means outside the body. Who is that? Yeah, people are going crazy nowadays. And you people mute your audio, sir. Sorry, sir. Sir, frogs undergo external fertilization. Okay, no, no. So, from in frog, external fertilization takes place, and internal fertilization. Whatever happens in human beings, it is internal fertilization. Whatever, yeah, in frogs, external fertilization is not there. The male frog and female frog will go into the water, and male frog will liberate sperms, and female frog will liberate ova, and both of them will fuse in the water. That is called external fertilization. Okay, so this is fertilization. What is fertilization? Children, fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. What is pollination? Transfer of pollen from another to sigma is called pollination. So now differences will be seen. I want to see the differences will be seen. What is the difference between pollination and fertilization? Please check, children. Notes will be there in the description. Don't worry about the notes, children, at all. Notes will be there in the description. Briefly, learn that notes. Differences between pollination and fertilization. Difference between pollination and fertilization. Please check, children, over here. What is pollination? Pollination is transfer of pollen from and to stigma is called pollination. What is fertilization? Fertilization is fusion of male and female gametes. Fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Pollination is of two types. We discuss self and cross. Fertilization also two types. We discuss children. Internal fertilization and external fertilization. Okay, children. And pollination requires agent support. Children, pollination requires agent support like uh, air, water, wind, etc. Like air, water, wind, etc., etc. And fertilization don't require agents. They don't require agents. Children. They don't require agents. Okay, children. So if you have an example, they ask the differences between pollination and fertilization. You please write it. Okay, so the difference is uh, once again I'm discussing transfer of pollen from another to sigma is called pollination, and fertilization is fusion of <coughs> male and female gametes is called fertilization. Pollination two types, self and cross. Fertilization two types, internal fertilization and external fertilization. Pollination agents are uh, required like air and water. Fertilization no need of any agents. Okay, so children check the video. Notes will be there in the description. You can answer and you can also use uh, you can also do worksheet for practicing.